Hello, and welcome to another edition of Solid Design Solutions Tips and Tricks. My name is John O'Field. Today we're going to cover how to create model components from a point cloud using Point Cab's Point Cab for Revit plugin for Autodesk Revit. So with this plugin, let's go ahead and get started. Let's go ahead and create our levels based off this point cloud. So all we have to do is just create our names. So once you hit the add button, let's go ahead and start. And once that is set up, we can actually come in here and create others as well, just by hitting the enter. And once you're done with that, you can hit cancel, and you can see those two have been created. Now, they have not been created within the browser yet, because we actually have to start utilizing the plugin. Okay, so with this, let's go in and create our points. So here's our first one. And here is our secondary one. Now, just depending on how many levels you have, depends on how many you need to create. You can see how we've created those within the project browser within Revit. Now let's go ahead and start creating some walls. So select create walls, figure out what your top and bottom offset are, what wall you might be starting with, and go ahead and start from there. So I'm just gonna zoom in and it's great to pick those center line there from that line work and you might be using that vectorized line work as well that's uh, a great tool from point cab as well there all right and our last point here so let's go ahead and close that out we can see how that's set but it's not fully aligned but there is a great little tool here helps us out with that and then once we have those walls selected we can finish that out nice and clean and we're done okay let's go ahead and insert a door now now in order to insert a door a window or an opening we do need to create a panoramic view and so that panoramic view is done within point cab itself we can select that. Let's just make sure that an elevation of that view is down at a reasonable elevation there. Once that's set, let's go ahead and insert our door after that view has been created. Now all you have to do is activate with that little play button to make sure that the view is able to be seen. And we can see how that will open up in just a second here. Okay, so now we've got this particular view we can utilize. And let's go in and create our door now. Alright, pick out what type of door. It's got a particular offset. And let's go and create this door from our point cloud. Once we have those positions, and now we have to figure out the direction of the swing. Is it swinging out this way? or on the other side of the door. Well, since I know the scan, I know that that swing is back on the other side, not within the corridor. So we're going to pick it back here. And once that's set, now we have our door. So I hope you enjoyed this. Got some great information out of it. Great tool. Great product. Feel free to reach out and let us know if you have any questions. Have a great day. Thank you for your time. Thank you.